I'm Ross Stutchbury, Inspector of Mines Mechanical at the Resources Regulator. I want to discuss a couple of incidents that have come across my desk that have involved bypass of diesel engine system safety circuits. Both these happened on a juggernaut type machine. The jug has an exhaust coming through the scrubber which then has a positive flame trap and after that a filter canister. What happened in these cases was the supply from the header tank got blocked at the float entry to the scrubber. So the water supply to the scrubber was inhibited and the scrubber was run dry. I believe there was a number of temperature shutdowns which couldn't be understood at the time, so the machine's safety circuits were then bypassed. In this case, the electrical control system is easily bypassed by connecting two pneumatic hoses. While the temperature sensors were bypassed, the hot exhaust went through to the exhaust particulate filters and resulted in a fire. In the first case, it was a fire and sparks. In the second, the filter shriveled up and disintegrated. My investigation was able to determine the timeline of events from data log and testing information that showed what happened in great detail. Refer to the safety bulletin recently published by the resources regulator for more information. Gold mines can be very dangerous if the controls put in place for safety are bypassed or overridden. Do not put yourself or others in danger by bypassing, forcing or making unauthorised changes to safety systems. Data from control systems and testing can be used to construct an accurate timeline of events. My advice would be to identify emerging unreliability issues early and address the root cause. Observe mine rules and protocols to keep equipment reliable and keep everybody safe. Let's continue to work together to make the New South Wales mining industry a safer place for all mine workers.